Hey guys, in this tutorial we will learn how to implement a color picker into our app. And when we choose a color here, we change the background color of our activity. Okay, let's do it. We start with a new Android Studio project and first we go into our Gradle scripts folder and into our build.gradle file, this one here with module colon app. We go down here and add this dependency. I will put this into the description box as well, so just copy it from there. When that's done, we click Sync Now. And we are ready to go. Okay, now let's prepare our main activity layout. We keep this texture here, but we change it into a button. This will then open our color picker. We change the text to Open Color Picker. And we give it an idea, which will simply be a button. And also our constraint layout itself needs an ID. So we go up here and add an ID here as well. And we simply call it layout. Because later we want to set the color on this layout. Next we go to our main activity Java file. And up here we create three variables. The first is for our constraint layout itself. And we call it M layout. The next one is an integer called M default color. This will be the default color which is set for our color picker when we open it. And the third is our button. We call it M button. Now in our onCreate method, we assign those variables. We write M layout equals cast to constraint layout, find view by ID, r.id. Dot dot, and the ID for our layout was layout. Semicolon. Now we set our default color and default color equals, and then we want to take our color primary in this case. So this is the default color when we open this the first time. And we get our primary color with context combat dot get color. Then we pass the context with main activity dot this. The next argument is the color itself, which we get with r dot color dot color primary, semicolon. And next we assign our button. And button equals cast to button, find view by id, r.id. Dot dot we called it button, semicolon. And we set an onclick listener for this button. And button dot set onclick listener, new onclick listener. And we get our onclick method here. And in here we call another method, open color picker. And we create this method down here outside of our onCreate method. We call it public void open color picker and here the magic happens. We create an instance of the color picker with Ambil Warner dialog. Now this is a weird name, but apparently Ambil Warner is Indonesian for pick a color. So this simply means pick a color dialog. And we call it color picker equals new Ambil Warner dialog. Now it needs a context. It needs a default color, which is this M default color we created. And it needs an on Ambil Warner listener, which we get with new on Ambil Warner listener, this one here. And now we get those two methods here. The first one is cancel and basically we don't have to do anything in here, but we have to do something in our on OK method here. This is where we get past the color which we choose in this color picker. But first let's close this here with a semicolon after this closing parenthesis. And now in our on OK method here, first we set our M default color to this new color we get. So the next time we open this color picker, it takes the color we choose the previous time. And second, we write M layout dot set background color to M default color. And now the background color of our layout will be set to this color we picked in the color picker dialog. And after the semicolon here in the next line, we take this color picker again and call show on it to open it. And now we are already finished and can test it. We click the button. We get our color picker dialog and our primary color is the start color. Now we choose a different one. Click OK and our background color is set to the screen. Now the next time we open this color picker dialog, the screen is the default color here. Let's change it again. And as you can see, it's working. If this video was helpful, please leave a like. And if you want more Android tutorials, don't forget to subscribe. Take care.